Bye. <laughs> Well, welcome to AM Arizona. Glad to have you with us today. Uh, we always enjoy having mm -hmm. you here. We hope you always enjoy us. We try to mm -hmm. make sure our program is informative mm -hmm. and entertaining. And most times it is. Most times it is. Most Sometimes times it is. not. What? Oh. What for heaven's <laughs> sakes? What have we got here? All right out of the chute. Look what we have here. Oh. This is unbelievable. Just walked in. Thank ladies, you, Diane. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tanya Mock's favorite food. <laughs> It's called a Tootsie Roll, a Tootsie Roll. That's, that's from oh, yours, to, yours truly. I told you I was giving you a surprise yeah. today. <laughs> Did you buy these? Yeah. Because you know how we had to get them, and we had to get them here at the because station. I, Diane had to put them on the expense am, account. She, I she am, orders the office supplies. I am so tired. Every time you get into the candy, oh, Tootsie Rolls, those are my <laughs> favorites. <laughs> so there, you got a month's supply of Tootsie Rolls. In fact, you can... <laughs> You can eat them. What is it about Tootsie Rolls? They're chewy chocolate. I just like them. And, and they're good chocolate for you because they're not milk chocolate. Oh, really? So There's I, no milk. It's more like a... You, you think I could have one? Chewy. <laughs> Thank you. <You're> one. So, <laughs> you are so generous. If you anyway, put your hand in that bowl again, you're going to get slapped. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a Tootsie Roll today for Tanya Mock. So uh, put that on, your, uh, put that on uh, Tanya's uh, wish list for Christmas <laughs> and buy her... You don't like the big ones, though. They, they used to get the, the big, long rolls. You, you like still. Yeah, you like the minis. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, of all times to put a tootsie roll in my mouth, but anyway, happy Friday to you. Yes, and, and I brought you tootsie rolls for your Friday. Thank you so you, much. See, Lou. you said it's going to be flowers. I yeah. thought it was going to be flowers. Uh, anyway, you're going to talk, so I'm going to eat a tootsie roll. I know Diane had to put them on the when she gets office supplies. She pads it with the tootsie rolls. Oh, and Frank has blackberries. Oh my heavens! Look at this. Look. Oh, and where do we want? Right here. Mm. Mm. Where are those from, Frank? Fresh wow. Oh, so good. Fresh picked? Oh, so good. Picked yesterday. Picked yesterday. Look at this. So, I mean, suddenly we've tu turned into a, a, a food court show. <laughs> Is it prolific over there with blackberries, Frank? Uh, you know what's wrong with these Tootsie Rolls? They stick to your teeth. I know. Now you can't talk. Go there. Let's move on to Arizona Cowboy and You better get, together. by the way, you better get this right. I'm going to get this right. <laughs> the 19th one, the Arizona Cowboy mm -hmm. Poets in Historic Prescott, starting Thursday evening, the 17th through Saturday evening, the 19th, sponsored by Charlotte Hall Museum. Mm. Enjoy authentic cowboy storytelling traditions in verse, Western harmony bands, singers, and songwriters. The theme this year, all in a day's work. I think so. That's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh -huh. And you know what else is going on? Well, uh, you know, our good friend, friend Frank Simorelli. Mm, don't you the, love Frank? I love him, and the, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a tribute. Maybe you don't love him. <laughs> well, I do. He's oh, a great okay. entertainer, and he's going to do the Frank Sinatra tribute show at, at our good friend Giovanni's Restaurant and Pizzeria in Prescott Valley, Arizona. And so you want to get by there. You know, he's, this is his 200th show that he's going to be doing. He has estimated 200 shows. Isn't that amazing? Can you believe he's that? He's performed in Reno. He's performed yeah. in, uh, uh, I'm swallowing my Tootsie Roll. I know. He's performed at the Beverly Hills Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. Yeah. He's performed, of course, at the Camelback Inn in mm -hmm. Paradise Valley. Mm -hmm. In Reno, he was at the Hilton, the Reno Hilton yes. Hotel. So he has 200 times. Is that amazing? Performed this tribute to Frank Sinatra. And, as you, and as he does a fabulous and job. And as you and I both know, it's not about the singing. He actually store, uh, t uh, tells a lot of stories about Frank Sinatra, and then weaves in uh, some songs. So don't miss that. You want to call ahead as the number that was on your screen. Call ahead for uh, for reservation 772-1461. As he says, when you leave his performance, he hopes you know more about the yep. man. Yep, and of course, he was just recently on our show, mm -hmm. and I learned a lot about Frank Sinatra a while Frank that I didn't Cimarelli know. was on here. Frank, now, what else is on your well, mind? Well, Frank, let us know that today is the anniversary of the first... Oh, yeah. The first Mo mail-order Mo catalog. Monkey Wards. Mo <laughs> Isn't that what they... <laughs> they used to call that, Mon yeah. <laughs> Monkey Wards. I don't know why. Where did that come from? But mm. who who knows? But anyway, yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Today's uh, the first day that uh, catalog went out, 1872 on this day. Yeah, so there you go. Mm -hmm. You know, people are getting back to catalogs now. I get those ABC catalogs. You get those? Anybody else get those? ABC, what did they sell? The ABC distributing everything, and I love this catalog. And, I mean, I'm a guy. You know, most women like to go through them, but it's called AD ABC distributing. What's in there? Everything from A to Z. I mean, it's, it's a big catalog. Full of great gift ideas. In really? There. In fact, ABC. I'm going to do. I'm. I'm thinking of doing quite a bit of my Christmas shopping through that catalog. I don't get that one. 
I'll bring it to you. Bring it to you me. You will love it. Because I get a lot of catalogs. You will absolutely love it. What else is on your mind today, Tonya Mock? Title hits and misses. What? And the reason I went <laughs> yes. like that. I was wondering. You were wondering. Uh, audience I, was wondering. Listen, I have to tell you, this is really interesting. Okay. The best and the worst titles for movies. All right. And what brought this to uh, everybody's mind, I think, is Snakes on the Plane. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? I mean... Okay. Oh, you creative oh, people. You oh. think you could come? <laughs> of course, you don't like snakes in the first place. No, I don't. Yeah. Uh, but so we have listed the seven, eight, I should say, eight worst and eight best movie titles. Mm. The eight best. Let's do the best first. Okay. Surf Nazis must die. That's, this is the best. That's the best. Best titles. Titles. Surf Nazis must die mm -hmm. is the best. Uh huh. Faster, pussycat, kill, kill. <laughs> Dr. Strange Love or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. Mm -hmm. Attack the Killer Tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Now, now again, these are best? These are best. Okay. Humanoids from the Deep. Dirty Mary Crazy Larry. <laughs> I always <laughs> now that like I, that one. That I like. And then. Oh. That was about the man who turned into a cobra, you know. Oh yeah, that's that's. Can you imagine asking, going up to the window and asking for a ticket? I want a ticket for. <laughs> and them. Them, okay. Remember, in the '40s, there was them, and and and, and uh, they came from and, and uh, giants. This. And yeah, I wasn't alive in the '40s, but I'm sure that what that happened. Well, early '50s. Okay. The worst. Okay, here's the worst. Now this is the worst, and they put Mad World in there, and that was what? because people had to count how many Mads to get it correct. It's a Mad, Mad, Mad World. Santa Claus conquers the Martians. Fat guy goes Nutzoid. Nutzoid? Lucky number seven. Anyway. Yeah, you know, I don't think all of those are bad. Yeah, you know, I, I really think all the titles are bad. Yeah. I don't know how you get the worst and the best out of there. To serve with love. Now that's good. Oh, yeah, that was See? good. Sydney right. Portier. Sydney Portier. We've got a good show lined up. Coming up, Don Luce is with us. He is the author of They Took Our Book. Oh, they Took Our Book. But it's Arizona Laws 101. There it is. Frank's going to sneak it in. Thank you, Frank. There it is. Larry Sinclair, Classic Cars, will also be with us. And mm -hmm. Dee is going to be cooking in the kitchen. Back after this. Today's show was brought to you by... Northern Arizona Council of Governments and the Arizona Workforce Connection. Four Corners Restaurants. See you around the corner. Yavapai Downs. Racing the way it was meant to be. And by Prescott Valley Raceway. Northern Arizona's premier raceway. Mom, guess what? Dad's working weekends again. That's right, son. He's racing at Yavapai Downs this summer. Wow, he's a track star. The excitement of live horse racing continues as Yavapai Downs hosts Del Mar Day at the Races, Sunday, August 20th. Join the fun as we give away free Del Mar Beach blankets while supplies last. We'll also feature the $1 million Pacific Classic, simulcast live from Del Mar. Del Mar Day at the Races, August 20th. Gates open at 11 a.m. See you there. This message is brought to you by the Yavapai Workforce Connection. We live around 5,000 feet in elevation with some of the best weather in the state. We have mountains and lakes and a thriving economy. Four seasons, great quality of life, good educational opportunities. It's all here in Prescott. We love to have as many new folks as possible, so check us out and see about our jobs that we offer. If you need help locating, hiring, and training workers for your business, contact the Yavapai Workforce Connection. Education, when and where you need it. Online at Yavapai College. I'm Jim Horton, president of Yavapai College, and with hundreds of online courses to choose from and one of the lowest credit hour costs in Northern Arizona, we want to be part of your future. Yavapai College, building strong communities, one student at a time. Cowboy Boots Optional. This week, on Arizona Backroads, we take our cameras into one of the top 10 living caverns in the world, Karchner Caverns. This is the first time in years cameras have been allowed to film in this amazing cathedral. The beauty of the caverns will speak for themselves, but the story behind their discovery and how they were turned into a treasure for all the world to appreciate is almost as fascinating as the caves themselves.
today we have Donald mm. Luce. He is the author of Arizona Laws 101, a handbook for non-lawyers. Don, of course, is a lawyer. His practice is concentrated in business, mm -hmm. litigation, and estates. Welcome to the show. Is you want Donald or Don? Don's fine. Don's good. And okay. thank goodness for this man. We were talking uh, during yes. the break before Don came on. You know, if you try to, uh, the average person doesn't understand the thing and the, and the statutes are that the laws. huge, you know, they're like 18 pounds, war and peace. Finally, finally, somebody put a book together that we can look through here and try to understand the laws, right, Don? Yes. Uh, what I did was <clears throat> I took all of the statutes and the cases con covering the 101 most uh, frequently asked mm -hmm. about laws. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's not all the laws. It's not all of the laws, but, but in 25 years of practice, I have ran across frequently asked questions, mm -hmm. and so these are the questions that people have asked me. Yeah. Okay. I took the cases, I took the statutes, boiled them down, and each chapter is two to three pages, it's intended to serve as a primer on the topic and provide resources to the reader where the reader can go out to the internet or to the library and get additional information if necessary. Terrific. What prompted you to write the book? Probably just what we said, right? Frequently asked questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would get the same question time after time mm -hmm. and a light bulb went off and uh, or went on mm -hmm. and uh, I decided that I should write a book about it so that people uh, who have a simple question might not necessarily have to go to a lawyer to have the question answered. Mm. If uh, they buy the book, they might be able to mm -hmm. avoid a lawyer. And you know, Don, like you said, these are the ones that are asked the most, of course. And you put it in, I hate to say easy reading, but it is easy reading. I can understand it. <laughs> I tried, I I, what reading. a concept. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I tried to. Yeah. I, I, try, I tried to make it uh, readily understandable uh, to the average person. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't a law book. Uh, this is a handbook. Mm -hmm. And the idea of the book is that somebody who has a question about a particular topic, mm -hmm. child custody, bad mm -hmm. checks, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, DUI, can go to the book and in two to three pages can have a good overview of that topic uh, with pertinent uh, legal authorities and resources. That's what I was going to ask you, what laws are covered in the book, but you, you might have just done that. Are there How many laws are covered and what laws are covered in here? The book covers 101 laws in uh, six different parts. Included is family law, wills and estates, consumer laws, criminal and traffic laws, civil actions mm. and business law. You know, you said bad check. What happens if I write a bad check? I mean, I'm not in the habit of writing bad checks. <laughs> well, I you, mean, I really don't do that. Are we letting out a, are we letting out a secret here, Tom? I don't. But what you happens? go to the person's house and you pay in cash. Yeah. <laughs> Very simple. Well, first of all, writing a bad check is a crime. I think everybody knows sure. that. Yes. And the county attorney in each Arizona county uh, will prosecute a bad check writer. Uh, so you want to avoid it for that reason alone. But uh, also, it constitutes a civil infraction, and you can be sued by the person who has gotten the bad check for more than just the amount of the check. You can be sued Ooh. for twice the amount of the check, or $50, whichever is greater. Now, very seldom do things go to that extent on one bad check. I mean, do people carry it to that extreme? Well. Here's or do the, they just usually give me my money? Give and, me my money yeah. and we'll get out of here. Yeah. It depends on the size of the check. If you have okay. a $5,000 check that oh, is dishonored yeah. by the bank and the person doesn't make the check good, you have a potential claim for $10,000. Wow, yeah. potential. Yeah. What's the most misunderstood? There's so many laws. What's the most yeah. misunderstood law? I think community property. I don't think most Arizonans really understand the concept of community property. Explain it to us. Community property is the concept which, by the way, is only alive in nine states. Arizona is one of the nine. Mm. So if you're coming to Arizona from a state back east or you're coming from a northern state, oh. you're coming from a non-community property state. Mm -hmm. Once you arrive in Arizona, all of your property is deemed community if it would have been community property in the state from which you came. Okay, so what is community property? It simply is the concept that everything you and your spouse own mm -hmm. that was acquired during your marriage is joint or common or community, and you each have an indivisible one-half interest in the assets, regardless of how the asset is titled. Oh. So, but as, assets <clears throat> you had before the marriage are not included in that, are they? No, they aren't. Assets before mm. marriage remain separate property if the spouse who owns the asset continues to segregate it and keep it separate from the community. You know, that's what I was going to ask you. That leads right into the next question. Do, do laws differ, from obviously, from state to state? I mean, something like that? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I don't know that a lot of people understand that Arizona is governed by a set of laws enacted by the legislature in Phoenix 
every other state is governed by a set of laws enacted by its legislature in some other city. Ah. So it's very important to have this book and certainly know the laws if you've moved from somewhere else and landed here thinking that the laws are the same in Arizona as they were. In, I think in this book would be good for a newcomer to familiarize himself or herself with the laws of our state generally. Now, mm -hmm. the book isn't a substitute for legal advice. Right. If a person has a legal problem, they're going to need to see a lawyer. Mm -hmm. What the book in, is intended to do is answer frequently asked questions and avoid a visit to a lawyer's office if the question is a simple one and mm -hmm. um, involves uh, a fairly common principle of law, you'll probably mm -hmm. find it in this book. So it really gives you guidelines or, right. or, a, or a place to go, or if, if it doesn't need to be, go any further, then it stays right here. I tried, I, I tried to uh, think of it as a road map. It, it, it takes you to the point where you want to go, but if you need additional mm -hmm. information or you're still confused, go to a lawyer. Exactly. Yeah. It's like driving. When you move from state to state, you obviously should get their driving laws. The driving laws. <laughs> yes. Because sometimes you can turn left on a right <laughs> stop and go, and that differs in each state, doesn't it? It does. For instance, in uh, many states, uh, displaying uh, a gun uh, is illegal. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's not the case in Arizona. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in Arizona... Uh, it has to be, but doesn't it like have to be in view, like if a policeman stopped you? It has to be in view. In view. And it cannot be in, on the premises yeah. that are posted, no guns. But, right. generally speaking, it's not uh, illegal as a proposition to carry a firearm yeah. in Arizona. Yeah. Great, great stuff. And Don, uh, stay right with us. We're going to come back with Don Luce. But first, uh, Tanya's going to talk about one of our wonderful sponsors. We're so proud to have this organization with us, NACOG. Northern Arizona Council of Governments. It is your workforce connection. Two locations, Prescott and Cottonwood. The job you love, the career you love is just at just right over the fingertips. You can find it. It's right within your grasp is what I'm trying to say. So if you go into NACOG, they will show you how to do that. Where do you research it? What do you learn for that career you love? Where do you go? Maybe you have a career you love right now and you just want to expand. Any of those questions can be answered at Northern Arizona Council of Governments. Back into this. Adoptions, weddings, probate, or other legal issues? They all get filed with the clerk of the Superior Court. It is imperative that the clerk's office is run efficiently, and Jeannie Hicks has been doing just that for nearly five years. Hello, I'm Jeannie Hicks, your clerk of Superior Court, with 22 years' experience in the Yavapai County Court System. With your vote, I can continue to expand your access to court records in the courts, streamlining your court experience. Re-elect Jeannie Hicks, clerk of the Superior Court. Since 1882, The Courier has had its place in Arizona history. I'm John H. Marion, the original publisher of The Daily Courier. And look at The Courier. What an operation. Whoops. Watch it, young feller. I'm long gone, but I like to check in on things just to make sure the editor, Old Ben Hansen, is doing his usual fine job. The Daily Courier is truly Yavapai County's most comprehensive news source for 125 years. Anything goes during Oasis Bedrooms Anything and Everything Sale. Every bed, every complete bedroom set, every kid's bedroom, and every mattress marked down with immediate delivery. Up to 30% off our entire stock. Plus, no down payment, no interest, and no payments till 2008 with no minimum purchase. Hurry, this is the final week at all Oasis Bedrooms during the grand opening celebration of our newest in Ahwatukee, 48th Street and Ray Road. Uh, AM Arizona, we're so glad you are with us on this Friday morning uh, with Don Luce and, of course, the author of this wonderful book that we're looking at, Arizona Laws 101. You know, Don, I was thinking at the break, you know, obviously a holiday coming up, Tanya, Labor Day, a lot of, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people get caught uh, drinking when they should not be drinking. Some of them will be uh, tapped with a DUI. What should we know about uh, DUI and is it in this book? That, that's an excellent subject. DUI is one of the most problematic areas of the law uh, for several reasons. There is a big push uh, by the states to uh, cite, arrest, and prosecute people who drive drunk, um, and that's a good thing. What people need to know is what constitutes legal intoxication and how are they going to get in trouble if they have a drink or two. 
The book has a chart in the appendix that will show what the likely blood alcohol content is of a man or a woman, depending on body weight and amount of time between drinks. That chart will provide a good baseline as to whether you ought to be driving or not. Anything near a .08 blood alcohol concentration, don't drive. You can be arrested and prosecuted for drunk driving even if you have a blood alcohol concentration of less than .08. If you are impaired in any way, you will be uh, guilty of driving under the influence. And of course, the best one on that one is just don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Absolutely. But as a practical, solves that problem. But as a practical yes. matter, a lot of people yes. do have one yep. or two drinks. Yes. They get behind the wheel. And, and, and they think they can drive. Sometimes that happens also. Yeah. Wills and estates, confusion, confusion oh boy. for yeah. everyone. Well, there is a lot of confusion. You just kind of give up. I'm not going to make one. <laughs> <laughs> the book has 10 common misconceptions about wills. And, and if we have a session. Yes, sure. please. Uh, I have a couple of examples. Okay. And these are frequently asked questions or common misconceptions. Mm -hmm. If I don't have a will, my property will go to the state. Well, that's, that's absolutely false. Your property will go to your family, but the legislature has determined who your heirs are. Uh, By a will, you can change that legislative okay, scheme. Very simple, okay. very simple okay. to understand. If I have a will, all of my property will automatically pass under it. That's not true. If you have a bank account that has a pay on death provision, that asset will go to the people you've designated. If you have a life insurance policy with a beneficiary designated, those life insurance proceeds will go to your beneficiaries, not what your will provides. Ah. Your will governs only those assets which don't otherwise pass pursuant to another device. Excellent. And the third one, the will that I executed before I moved to Arizona is invalid. That's simply not true. If the will was valid in the state in which you executed it, it's valid in Arizona. So the only review is one of, okay, is the will valid under the laws of the state in which it was executed? If the answer is yes, you don't need then to redo it. Then you're it. safe. And I, think, I don't think a lot of people know that. Uh, I don't think they do either. And what about estates? That's wills. What about estates? Well, Does it uh, fall under a little different... A lot, of, a lot of people believe that a trust is necessary to govern their estates. That's not always true. A trust is good if you want to avoid probate, which is a good thing, and it can also eliminate or minimize estate tax under certain circumstances. Right now, each of us has a $2 million unified credit throughout our lifetimes, and assuming that our estate doesn't exceed that amount, there will be no estate tax, uh, either federal or state. So. You may or may not want to create a trust. If you don't, a will will take care of your needs don't just fine. Don't save more than $2 million, Lou. Well, I'm going to... Stop I'm, at two. I'm working on that okay, right, right now. I, had a, I was lucky just to buy the Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> i got to tell you, in this book, uh, Don, there's laws in there. Do these laws often change? I mean continuously. Well, they do, and the legislature is constantly revising the existing laws, repealing certain laws that don't work, mm -hmm. and adopting new laws that are necessary for our growing state. And so the concept in writing the book was this book contains the commentary on the current laws. Next year, a revision will come out which will update the book wow. to reflect the laws that have changed since the original exactly. publication. Lou comes to my house. He's in my yard, and my dog bites him. Ooh. Is he going to sue me? Well, he... Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't speak to the exact question you asked, but, but I will say that uh, Lou would have uh, the right to make a claim for his injury because Arizona has the one bite rule. And what that means is... <laughs> It's immaterial. So the, one, the one bite. The one, all you get is so, one bite. So, Tanya, if you want to bite me, you get one shot at it. Now, what about her? What if Tanya runs out and bites me? Well, that's a different Oh, that's a different one bite. One okay, one bite law. Okay, go ahead. The, the dog, uh, whether predisposed to biting or not, doesn't, doesn't get two chances. The first time the dog bites, the victim has a claim against the dog owner. Okay. If you go back and he yeah. gets you again, no, I'm not. I'm out of luck, you know, and of course we're, you know, obviously we're kidding. I'm, yes, I think of we're course. so happy in this in these United States of America, uh, which I think oh, is also point, which though. is also a shame. And I don't know if there's any laws that govern govern that. I'm sure there is. Well, you know, you can't simply bring a frivolous suit. If you do, and mm -hmm. this is covered in the civil actions part of the book, mm -hmm. um, the party that you sue will have a claim against you uh, mm -hmm. for ah. malicious prosecution, Counter. Counter. something, and may be awarded attorney's fees. So. 
If you're going to bring a claim, uh, it better be a valid one. Mm -hmm. If you're going to take it to court, if you don't and you lose, you may pay attorneys. Well, fees. I think what brought that to us at the forefront of our thinking in our world today was the lady who sued, was it McDonald's or whatever, the coffee? The hot cup the, of coffee The hot case. cup of coffee. That really brought that to our forefront of our mind, what we were doing with lawsuits. Well, and that's a good example. Uh, the jury in that case awarded her a huge sum, yeah. and on appeal, uh, most of those damages were set aside by the appellate court, but most people remember that case yeah. for the large amount of money. But there are a tremendous amount of frivolous cases that are out there. That's true. That have been won. That's true. You know, which which all of us pay for. That's the right. sad part. Personal responsibility. Uh, we pretty Wouldn't. much lost sight of that term. Well, we have, but you know what? If you're if you're injured uh, by the fault of another mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. you absolutely have the right mm -hmm. to pursue that claim. And uh, what I worry about is the concept that uh, truly legitimate claims aren't, yeah. aren't going to be recompensed. Exactly. Hey, uh, Don, you're going to be at Barnes & Noble yes. in Flagstaff this Saturday, August 19th, 2 p.m. Tomorrow at 2 p.m.? Tomorrow at 2 p.m., so don't miss it. Get out there. Thank and, you, Don. Oh, thank and meet you. Don. Pleasure a, to meet you. A pleasure to meet you. To meet thank you, you for having book. me on Thank you show. so very much for writing this book. Yes, it's great. And I noticed in there you have the uh, driving schools. If you go to the driving school, Ooh. you can get your license. Uh, you, you would know that yes, because I you've <laughs> You've been in trouble a time or two. Yes. Anyway, Don, thank you so very much. Now you're going to talk about uh, Nolan's, one of our favorite restaurants in the world, is Nolan's right here in Prescott. On Montezuma. On Montezuma. It is in the Four Corners family of restaurants. Barry Barb heads it up. And let me tell you, his signature is on every dish that comes out of that kitchen. Exhibition kitchen. You can walk right in there and watch them fix your meal and everyone else's meal. And if you don't like yours, maybe you can ask for the one they're fixing. No, uh, you know I'm making that up. The patio is a great place to dine. It's raining a little bit this morning. I don't know if you'd want to be on the patio today, but any other day when the sun is shining, the patio is fabulous. Nolan's on Montezuma, Four Corners family of restaurants. It's free. Mm -hmm. Here at More Furniture for Less, when you buy a deluxe mattress, they'll deliver it to you for free. And they'll professionally set it up for free, too. Oh, are you wondering what to do with your old mattress? <laughs> well, don't worry. They'll even remove that for free. More Furniture for Less. It's your mattress source. And this week with no minimum purchase, get interest-free financing till 2010. No down payment and no interest till 2010. Including Tempur-Pedic mattresses and pillows. More furniture for less. Your mattress source. Get ready for One Night Live with Clint Black. I'm gonna spend my time. Clint Black is back. Friday, November 17th at Prescott Valley Convention and Event Center. We'll never see Concert benefits the Boys and Girls Club of Central Arizona. But I can't find a rainbow. Tickets on sale Saturday, August 19th at 10 a.m. Don't miss an evening with Clint Black live in concert. This week on Life Today, Creflo Dollar. If you don't have confidence that God loves you, then you won't believe what he says in his word. Well, I'm going to be miserable all my life. Who have you been talking to? Mm -hmm. Who has been shaping your thinking? Who has framed your mind? Who have you been hanging around? Because that's not what I said. I Creflo said shares how to live a life in abundance. This week... With us right now is Greg Boomer Rye, and we know him by Boomer, of course. Mm -hmm. He's the announcer at Yavapai Downs. It's the voice, the voice of Yavapai Downs. It's the voice you hear. If you're in Prescott, you hear Boomer's <laughs> voice at Yavapai Downs. You are so right. <laughs> Where, my friend, did you get such a big voice? I don't know, but I'll sit back from you guys as yeah. I talk. <laughs> it, is, it is a great yeah. voice. Now, it is. have you done radio, and yeah, have you done I, anything I else besides announcing? That. I don't think we've um, ever asked you that. Well, yes, I have, but it all came after my start in horse racing. Did it? All of my announcer start was in horse racing, so radio and a few uh, commercials yeah. and came. a few things after that. Because now, because now, so. of course, being out at Yavapai Downs, you're on radio. You're you write a column for the newspaper. You're quite a celebrity, sir. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> legend in my own mind, baby. <laughs> legend in my own mind? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Boomer. I did say that once about you, didn't I? <laughs> you were right, too. This Tanya, she leaves no stones on her. That's right. <laughs> don't, you can't get anything by her. We're talking about handicapping, right? Yes. A contest. A contest. No, I wanna, before we go to that, what's your handicap? In what? In TV. Oh, I don't know. Well, you're looking at him. Oh, 
<laughs> I missed that one. Boy, where are you? I don't know. I opened the door I'm for you. I just wanted to say you're and my you handicap. never walked through it. Anyway, sorry, Boomer. <laughs> sorry, Boomer. You gave her a good lead I in know. there. Uh... Well, I dropped that one, didn't yep. Okay, now moving on to yeah. handicapping contest and tournament. That's right. What is this? We pit our skills against other people? That's right. That's exactly right. Oh. We have the only... Uh, handicapping uh, qualifier for the Horse Player World Series is going to have a purse of almost a million dollars in Las Vegas next January. The only one in the state of Arizona this year. Uh, the Western Regional Qualifier, two separate tournaments tomorrow and Sunday, and we have players coming from as far Man. away as Minnesota, believe it or not. Minnesota. Minnesota. You know, and I saw your eyes light up when you started talking <laughs> about all that money in Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Because little do people know, as, actually, as an announcer, you also uh, are very much involved in finding out you're a great handicapper. You could help folks. Too. Well, I try to. Yeah, I mean, uh, got the first book that uh, that I showed uh, a few weeks mm -hmm. ago on the show, and just finished my second one. It's called Bets Boomers Easy to Learn Thoroughbred Wagering Strategies, and it'll be released the first of September. So, yeah. yeah, I've always tried to do that. I play in tournaments uh, throughout the country, and in this one also, guys, we want to uh, let everybody know that Hawthorne Racecourse in Chicago has donated two entries, uh, $250 a piece, to their heavyweight championship of handicapping in December. No. So, oh, really? Yeah, which is also a qualifier for the Horse Player World so Series. So you can make so. a lot of money doing this. Absolutely. You uh, can also you know. lose a lot of money. No, not really. A $100 entry fee, not a not a yeah, big entry true. fee as, yeah. as these tournaments go, which often have anywhere yeah. from $1,500, 2000 uh, You play a $400 yeah. live bake roll, which drops down to $20 win in play. So, so you know, play? significant amount of how money, many, but not How huge. many people get involved in this? Well, we're uh, hoping that we get 100. Uh, that's our goal. We've got about 86 committed right now. Now and uh, when you consider that people are coming from all over the place to the uh, little northern Arizona, it's uh, quite a turnout. So this think, is so. a contest where they give you like the play money. No, they actually buy a live bankroll, a $400 live bankroll, and then they use that to play the $20 win in place for the 10 designated races of the tournament. At the end, they keep all their money on the bankroll, and that goes towards points of winning money ah. in the prizes. So, so it's an actual it, live bankroll tournament. It is a bankroll tournament, but mm -hmm. it's not money you have to. Up front. Well, it's the money that the player that the puts, up front. puts up. The, the player, player puts, puts up front. Up. Yes. In other words, what you're doing here is that you're you're handicapping the races, and then you're putting your money where your mouth is, as opposed to a mythical contest where people just say, "Let me find the biggest yeah. 80 to one shot," where the money means nothing and try to accumulate points. Here, guys are going to play the horses they That's really right. think okay. have a legitimate so, chance to so win. They, yeah. So they better be right on target. And we thought uh, I sat down with Noel Michaels, who wrote the literally wrote the book on contest in the. Mm -hmm. United States. We uh, did a book signing together in Chicago in April, and he said, you know, there's no live bankroll tournament in the United States less than $2,000. I said, well, we're going to do something about that. that so is, this is something people can afford to do. That is great. Do. You guys just keep stepping forward. Well, we try uh, to. Out of yeah. Yavapai Downs and Prescott Valley. So let's jump backwards then. Uh, I'm so sorry. Then everybody has to bet on the same race. No, they have five mandatory races each day at Yavapai Downs, and then a pool of ten races at Saratoga and Del Mar, in which they take five of the ten races. And that's what's separates the field because they'll have different wagers in sure. those races. Okay. Yeah. It's as clear as mud. <laughs> it's clear as mud, and we'll get, we'll get involved in it. What are we looking at here, sir? We are looking at the official Del Mar beach towel mm -hmm. that's going to be given away at Yavapai Downs in honor of Pacific Classic Day at Del Mar on Sunday. While supplies last, and you can see the little Del Mar is mm -hmm. cool as ever on there, and it's an actual beach towel. Really? Uh -huh. Is that not cool? That is cool. It says it's cool. It says it's cool, it's cool and it is. It's cool as ever. Can I open it up? Sure. Now you're gonna I be, hope. <laughs> you're going to be giving those away? or what? Are yes, we we're giving those? those away while supplies last and paid admissions on Sunday. On Sunday. And you can see on there it says Del Mar cool as ever. They're one of our simulcast partners mm -hmm. and uh, just a real cool beach towel. How many? Do we that. know how many we have to give away? I think we well, have around 400 of them, so ooh, you'll want to come out early. I want to get one of those. Yeah. Those, those are, are really neat, nice. aren't they? That is nice. I'll never get that rolled back together, Tanya. Oh, no. No. <laughs> she, you know, Boomer, she did that on purpose. Because oh. now, guess who owns the towel? Dear. Huh? It's Tanya's oh, towel. Goodness, now. I don't mind. Together. Tanya's Boomer? towel, Tanya's towel. I mean, now we only have a couple of more weeks of racing, don't we? That's right. Uh, we've got 12 more live days to be exact for this weekend, Saturday through Tuesday through September 5th. So season, I can't believe we only have three more weeks. Isn't that Can you believe season's that? Season's really uh, winding down fast. But it's been a, the best season ever. At best Lydon. season ever. We had record handles, record attendance last year, and we've exceeded that seven to ten percent this year. And 
and those were numbers that we thought were going to be and, extremely tough to And uh, I know you've surpass. got a lot more people on simulcast. That's right. That's right. Simulcasting literally all over the world. Uh, Caribbean, Mexico, Europe, you name yeah. it. So. You name it, there they are. They hear the voice of Boomer. So the first Gev Pie Downs Handicapping Tournament. Now, isn't that a cool logo? That I, is. I'd like to take credit for that, but Don Rogers, our simulcast coordinator, made that up. <laughs> and two separate tournaments, and guys, we still have entries available. Uh, check in us by 12.30 tomorrow. So, yeah, that's just a cool logo. I wish I could say I so uh, get out, that. So get out to Gev Pie Downs because this is uh, the next to the last weekend. And that's right. very quickly, how do people become involved? They, uh, they come and uh, sign up in the clubhouse tomorrow. We have the Gary Howard room, which is called the Overflow Room, and we'll have a special deli and everything set up there. I'll be there with uh, Randy Fosner and Jack Mullen uh, handling the tournament, and uh, we check in by 1230. Yeah. See, Boomer, there it is, almost back. <laughs> I really didn't think you would roll it back up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man that knows everything about horse racing, one of the very best. We're so proud to have him in great our area, Boomer. All right. Thank you, Boomer. Thanks, have guys. a great weekend. Get out there and do some handicapping, Tanya. We will be back with Classic Cars. Don't go away. My parents love football. They just love different teams, and they each want me to root for theirs. I'm what you call a free agent. No matter what team you root for, Quest brings you closer to the game. Just call 1-888-285-0087 and get the Quest More Football Bundle today for only $83 a month. You'll follow the action in all digital quality picture and sound with direct TV service. Get instant access to stats and highlights with high-speed internet, plus digital voice with a local package and five cents a minute nationwide long distance calling. Best of all, you'll get a great value when you bundle it all with Quest, just $83 a month. No wonder thousands of fans are choosing Quest over cable. I think I'm old enough to make my own decisions, and Grandma agrees. Why wait? Call 1-888-285-0087 and sign up now. You'll get direct TV service, Quest high-speed internet, and Quest digital voice for only $83 a month. The More Football Bundle. One more way Quest brings more life into your life. That's our spirit of service. Welcome to Just Ask Rental. How can I help you today? Wow! Just Ask Rentals has serious do-it-yourself equipment for the big projects. This Kanga loader will do all the hard work for me, plus concrete mixers, generators, and expert advice on how to use it. Stuff for wedding receptions and parties available too. Tents, dance floors, tables, chairs, and more. Thanks for using Prescott True Value and Just Ask Rental for all your rental needs. Prescott True Value and Just Ask Rentals, they are so much more than just a great hardware store. Hello, I'm Dan Yeary, pastor of the North Phoenix Baptist Church, and I cannot tell you how happy I am that we're now a part of the wonderful AZ TV family. If you cannot make it to one of our weekend services at Bethany Home and Central Avenue, then tune in right here at AZ TV every Sunday at 8 a.m. I'll talk to you about practical life issues, and I believe you'll be glad that you watched AZ TV. And we welcome you back to AM Arizona and now a regular feature right here on AM Arizona and who doesn't love classic cars? I don't know anybody that doesn't love classic cars. I don't either. Man and or woman. Man nor woman nor beast. And we have the man that uh, <laughs> can put the classic cars all together. His name is Larry Sinclair. He's got a great piece for you. So take a look at this. Welcome to Larry's Classics. We're out in Prescott at Watson Lake at the 32nd Annual Prescott Antique Auto Club Swap Meet and Car Show. We want to take a look at all these cars. We're going to take you down to the old antique engines and uh, also show you a couple of uh, old antique fire engines. All right, let's go take a look. Man, check out this Plymouth. It's got a Hemi in it and a blower sticking out the top. Uh, what's your name, sir? Jeff Agosti. Uh, can you tell us about your car? Well, it's a 1948 Plymouth. Then I put a uh, 1955 Chrysler uh, Hemi in it with a blower. And it's got uh, electronic fuel injection uh, from a Ford 5-liter uh, Mustang. And the transmission? That's a Ford top loader 4-speed that I made, an, I made an adapter plate to adapt the Ford transmission to the back of the Hemi. And I bet it's got a 9-inch Ford in the rear There's a 9-inch Ford in the rear end. I, I haven't gotten around to putting any strip gears in it, but it has 3 to 1 ratio. And uh, it's taken me 8 years to get it to this point. 
Yeah, it's really looking good. It's got a straight axle in the front. Yeah, that's the way I like them. I love gassers from the early 60s. That's the whole theme of the car is a gasser from the early 60s. I couldn't afford a Willys, so I got this one for a bargain from my wife's uh, grandmother. It was her great-grandmother's car. I sat in a field in, in Oklahoma since uh, 1964. And then I rescued it from, uh, well, actually my wife uh, rescued it from the crusher. And uh, we brought it home and been working on it ever since. So it's probably uh, B gas class? I would guess uh, B or C gas, probably, with the, it's only 331 cubic inch. Very nice Chevy 34 here, um, and Bob's the owner. Uh, Bob, can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, it's a 34 Canopy Express. It used it years ago in the cities to uh, deliver vegetables and so on and so forth from door, door to door. It's been in my family since new. My great uncle bought it new, and he gave it to my dad, and my dad gave it to my brother, and I bought it for my brother a few years back. And is it a stock engine or? It's a 206 engine. And it's all original. It's got the original soft top on it, original floorboards, everything's original but the paint. And so that means it's a three speed, right? Three speed on the floor, yeah. We have a 55 panel truck here, really nice. Uh, Bruce is the owner. What can you say about it? Well, it's been a long project. I've owned it for about 22 years now. And uh, obviously, we've done a paint job. We've changed the engine out. It's running a late model uh, big block Chevy. Uh, it's set up for air conditioning. I hope to have one of my buddies at uh, Advanced Auto Air finish up the AC for me eventually. Uh, it's got a modified front suspension. It's independent. We're using coilovers. Uh, it's got a Camaro rear end. And uh, I just really enjoy having it out and talking about trucks and enjoying the hobby. It's, yeah, we got a request. This guy was walking down here and said, you got to get a picture of this truck. So we thought we'd come by and, and get, it, get it on camera. Wow, bless his heart. This thing's never been on, on film before, so it's uh, kind of exciting for me, too. Yeah. Yeah. So the transmission's a 700R4 or something? No, it's a 400 Turbo. Uh, 700R is a little late model for me yet. Uh, okay. I'm still in the, in the 80s yet, but uh, that would be a next modification if I was if somebody said well what are you gonna do to it next that would be the four-speed automatic that would be probably the next step and then the interior is uh, the interior is based on the stock seats but it's been carpeted and upholstered and uh, you know made comfy for uh, travel but uh, it's basically a stock old truck with uh, some modifications yeah. Check out this cool old fire truck. Uh, looks like a 1924 American La France. Is that you right? got it right. <laughs> and your name is, sir? Pat Mackin. Hi, Pat. I'm Larry. Good to meet you. Can you tell us about it? Well, the truck was originally sold in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. And how it got to the Litchfield Park area of Phoenix, I really don't know. And a fellow bought it and hauled it up here, and I tried to buy it. It took me about six years to finally talk him out of it. <laughs> And uh, what kind of engine is in it? A uh, great big T-head six-cylinder, 855 cubic inches, uh, makes about 105 horsepower. And uh, there's a pump still working in there? Oh, yeah, the pump still works. Hopefully this afternoon we'll go down to the lake and pump some water. Uh, the city tends to let the water level go down this time of year, so it may be a challenge, but we're going to try. Cool. Uh, and I know you have some other stuff here, too. Uh, you got other fire trucks as well? Uh, I only have the one fire truck. I have the old Model A wrecker tow truck over here, the international truck over here with the big hit-and-miss engine on it's mine. And the Sterling diesel back here behind us is also mine. So you're a collector of antique uh, trucks and fire trucks, engines. cars, most anything old. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Pat. Okay, thank you. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Prescott Valley Raceway, located at Yavapai Downs. Last week they had a great Saturday night. They had the late models out there and the vintage sprint cars with a great turnout. This week, Saturday night, you're having the IMCA Modifieds. It's a 50-lap main event, $1,000 to win. 
and also the AODC mini stocks. Go out there, check it out. Saturday night, check out the website, pvraceway.com. Hey, what are you putting me up here for? I want to go to the Arizona Equifest. You can go hog wild at the Equifest. Equifest? What's that? Why, it's horses, dogs, vendors, shopping, and fun family activities, and food. Why, wow, there's even going to be a bobcat square dance. And there's a huge tax swap. And food. Come on, girls, let's go see the animals. <laughs> Ticket info is available at any Olson's Grain store or on olsonsgrain.com. Get me down. I can't miss the Equifest. This August at Bucky's and Yavapai Casinos, you can win a 12-pack of Coke or Diet Coke for every jackpot of $300 or more, or for every 500 points earned. Just play with your Gold Rush card August 1st through the 31st. Wild times, don't you love it? When I was faced with losing my driver's license, I knew I needed legal help. I saw a commercial on TV for Phillips and & Associates and called them immediately. They answered all my questions and the staff was friendly and made me feel at ease. My attorney was knowledgeable and helped me keep a clean record. Thanks, Phillips & Associates. You are great. Representing people in a DUI or criminal case requires extensive legal knowledge, hard work, and experience. Call Phillips & Associates now at 602-258-8888. It's the 6th Annual Prescott Jazz Summer, August 25th, 26th, and 27th. Call now for your tickets, 928-771-1268. Great jazz, a great weekend. The Prescott Jazz Summer. I'll see you there. You're watching AZTV, proud new home of the NHL Phoenix Coyotes. <laughs> with us is Dee Dee. She is our microwave genius, guru, uh, guru uh, <laughs> expert. Superwoman. Uh, Superwoman super with a microwave. Yeah. It's Dee Dee. So Dee Dee's making Thai green beans yeah. salad. Oh, it sounds delicious. Yes, because And I healthy. Oh, it is. Yeah. And, he yes, and yeah. healthy. And I grow a garden. Mm -hmm. and, you um, grow a garden. How does your garden grow? <laughs> oh, my garden is so Dee Dee, Dee Dee, how does your garden grow? I mean, it's just been excellent. And I did the bush green beans, and I actually have been These picking them. Here? Yes. Now, I love, love fresh them? green beans. Well, then one you should favorite. try one. Okay, we okay. got to. Um, they're nice and cleaned and mm. um, cooked. No, those aren't cooked yet. No, Have you not had them raw? I don't like them raw. Don't you like oh, raw? Oh my gosh, I just love them raw. No, okay, okay well I'll, then I'll we shall eat them cook. Okay, well okay. we're gonna cook them. Well, okay. I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to okay. convert. Mm. I uh, went to a Thai cooking class and they did this green bean salad. And you immediately converted it. And I immediately converted, converted it, it into the it. microwave. And so, here are the tips for this. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do two different uh, bagfuls because I just want you to try these just by themselves. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is two cups of um, green beans. And the best way, I think, to cook your vegetables is to put them in the bag, especially if you're going to make a sauce. And punch and, a hole. And, right. I remembered. And pour over it because <laughs> now you've got them in the bag and you can just shake them up with the sauce so it's perfect. Perfect. All right. Now, so here's how to convert a recipe. The original recipe said to put this amount of beans into hot water, leave it for two minutes, Okay, and then immediately plunge it into cold water to stop the cooking because you just want them to be barely cooked, almost like blanching them. It keeps okay, that for fresh, it, it keeps the vivid green color on them. Absolutely. Too, when you okay. So what I'm going to do is the same thing, except that I'm just going to leave mine in the bag. Okay. Right? And I'm going to pierce a hole right here near the top. And you only need one. And nope. You only need one. Okay. One right. bag. And I don't need any water because I'm only putting them in for two minutes. Exactly. And I only have two cups. Well, if I had four cups, yeah. I'd put them in a quart size. Is there enough water inside the green beans to, to make it work? And, right. And we're right. just we're just blanching really. We're going to put these in for two minutes on okay. high power. Okay. Right. Now, this is a great tip if you have lots of beans and you want to freeze them. So you can just blanch them right in your bag, okay? Then have a bowl of ice water ready mm -hmm. and just take that bag, Dunk stick in. it in the ice water, stop the cooking, let them cool. Now you can freeze them in the same bag 
that you cooked them in, but I just yeah. stick them now in another freezer bag because remember you got that little hole in the top. Right, okay. exactly. So then when you want to cook them, you just take them out yeah. of the freezer, now, put now them in Dee the Dee microwave, is, and there you go. Is that easier beans. than putting in a conventional oven doing this? Oh, it's, Lou, there's no dishes to do. Well, you're, they would You're be, cooking all would, in the same bag and okay. the same taste. Uh -huh. But the green beans wouldn't be going in the oven anyway. Be no, they're not top. in the oven. No. I'm saying stove on the top. stove. Stove, stove, stove. I think that they're better because you're on top of the stove, you're putting your beans in water. Mm -hmm. And part of your nutrition is you're losing water, water. Right. Okay. So, so in the so, microwave. So health-wise, this is the very best. Health-wise, with, with the nutrients, this okay. is the best way to do it. Okay. So when these come out, that's when we're going to add our sauce to this. And this is exactly the same sauce that was used in the original recipe. Okay. Hey, so we have fish sauce. And you said you've never I've used never, this before. No, huh? okay. Now what is, is fish, what is fish, fish sauce? Fish sauce is um, sauce that's used in all Thai cooking. Mm. Okay, and um, this is actually from the fish from the Asian market in okay. um, Vegas. So just want to take a smell of that. It's pretty potent. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Mackle, you know that's like oh. that reminds me of the early days when we did cod liver oil. <laughs> oh my God! Is that potent? That is, you're gonna it, love it with lime so juice. So is that though. fish? Mm. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it is fish. Oh, it don't is. use any more than that. No, no, no. It's like it, well, we because because we've got. Okay, we're gonna just use. We will put a little bit of this. Yeah. Back. <laughs> About a tablespoon and a half. Now is that expensive? You're gonna Didi? be so. Oh, it's so reasonably priced. Is you can it? get it in any of the supermarkets. Okay. okay? Then we're gonna put in um, tea, a tablespoon of sugar. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that'll help a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you taste this, if you didn't know what I put in, you're gonna go, "Wow, that is so delicious." Yeah. Okay. Now we got some lime juice. Okay. okay and that was two teaspoons of lime starting. juice. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now we're starting. You have a little spoil. Well, we you want to this stir food. that? Okay. Bam. Okay. Now let's take our beans out. I just want to show you what. It, a, they were in how long? A minute? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Look at the view. Look at Ooh, that. Look at that. Yeah. Awesome? Very nice. Okay. Now the bag is so nice because we did, there was moisture in the beans. Mm -hmm. And what moisture was there, we're holding in. So they're just going to finish steaming. So let's just let these sit for a minute. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you know, in the microwave, many times that color comes out as vivid. Now, stovetop, if you plunge them, holds right. that vivid color. But in the microwave, it looks like it just comes out. It just comes out. Yeah. Okay, now the herbs that we're putting in, and I have an herb garden, so these oh, are all fresh so herbs. Good. That's mint. This is mint. mint. Yeah. Right. Um, cilantro, and I'm adding a little bit of basil. Oh, now, that's goodness. not in the original recipe. That's taking the smell out of my nose. It is. Wait till you taste this. Okay. That was potent, wasn't it? Now, we're going to add all this into the bag and mm -hmm. shake it up. Should I open it? Open it up. Okay. Okay. And this sugar is going to dissolve with the heat of the beans. There mm -hmm. we go. Okay, and we're going to add our herbs. Oh, how nice. Isn't All in nice? one little Look bag. Look at that. It is so cool. Yeah. All right, now. We're going to shake this up, mm -hmm. okay, so that the beans get all of the juice. Now, if you had used more, you would want to pour out the little bit of extra yeah. water that was in there if you cooked it with a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. All right, now to this, we're going to add some tomatoes straight from the garden. Mm-hmm. Okay, oh man, when you taste this tomato, taste that tomato. Oh. You are going to love it. Just slice them in half. If you got the little cherry tomatoes. Mm -hmm. mm. How is that, Now, Tony? you want to, yes, try one. Yeah. Yeah. It is okay. so good. You want to so slice good. and just add your tomatoes to this. Okay. Okay. Don't shake it up too much because you don't want all the seeds to come out of the tomato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're just going to wow. drop it right in the bowl, and there you go. Man, oh man. Three minutes later, you got a beautiful salad. How's that? That is Now, great. what we're going to do is top it with some toasted peanuts. Doesn't that look wonderful? Yeah, and you toasted okay. those in the microwave. In the microwave, and here's the best way. Take your raw peanuts, put them on a napkin, okay, because the paper towels are way too big. Put them in a circle, okay. Spray them with a little bit of vegetable spray, just mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. right? Because the spray will give a little bit more toasting, okay, okay to the peanut. Okay, start them out for one minute on high power using a 900 watt microwave, and then start watching. Just do 30 seconds at a time, because you don't want them to burn. Mm -hmm. And there is just a real fine oh, line. Can I taste these? Sure. These have been these have you been toasted. That too. Yeah, but no. I sprayed those oh. already. Okay. Mm. Good. Mm. Now they're not salted, isn't? Aren't those delicious? Oh, those are delicious. Okay. So now, if you just want a snack, I'm just going to tell you this is the greatest snack. And just cook your beans the same way that I did. Mm -hmm. But if you want them a little bit softer, you're going to have to add a little bit of water to these. Without water, they're going to be tender, crisp. Yeah. If you want them softer to snack on, add a little bit of water. Here's the hole. Set it up right like this, okay? 
Cook it for two to three minutes, and you've got a great snack this to is take delicious. with you. Great, in the yeah, isn't that the, you. the beans mm, are just the, the green beans, beans are, are just delicious. marvelous. Aren't they good? Now, now, now the fish sauce is excellent. The fish well. is gone now. Oh yeah, the fish sauce makes the Asian taste to it. You can't. But boy, I no wouldn't want to fall food. into it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. And keep it in the refrigerator after it's yeah. open. Yeah, Dee so. as always, you have hey, done it again. Enjoy your green right. bean salad. Yeah, I think you're going to stay with us for the close. I the am going to stay with you. But yep. great stuff. And uh, Dee will stay with us. In the meantime, in between time, we were just with Boomer, Tanya from Yeba Pie Downs, and it's going to be a great weekend out there. For the horse races. Uh, about two left or three? Two left. Two weekends left. If you want to watch the ponies run, you better get out there. You have a pie down in Prescott Valley. Bet a little bit of money, watch the ponies run, and you might walk away there with maybe five extra dollars. No, so you could win a lot of money. You could have a lot of fun. And there's great food out there also. Also, there's great areas, uh, meeting rooms, where you can book a convention, a banquet, a, a graduation, a wedding, a divorce, anything you want to do out there. You can do Yellow Pie Downs, watch the ponies run. Two weekends left. If you're no longer able to work, you may be entitled to receive Social Security Disability Benefits. Mark and Ed have helped more than 10,000 people at Social Security Disability Hearings. It's not enough to go to a Social Security hearing and say you're not able to work. You need to know the very complicated law, and you need to persuade the agency that this person is disabled. And that's where we come in. Caldwell and Ober, 1-800-572-6222. Pay zero till 2010. It's the world's greatest offer. This weekend, only at more. Furniture for less, no down payment, and zero interest till 2010 with no minimum purchase. The world's greatest savings. The world's greatest offer. Pay zero till 2010. No down payment. Zero interest till 2010 with no minimum purchase. This weekend, 10 a.m. till 9 p.m. at more. Furniture for less. Do you have abdominal pain or cramping, suffer with problems of bloating, gas, and diarrhea? If so, you may have irritable bowel syndrome. Radiant Research is currently conducting a clinical research study on an investigational drug for women who suffer from diarrhea due to irritable bowel syndrome. Qualified participants will receive study-related exams, study drug, and compensation up to $350 for time and travel. Call Radiant Research at 1-877-70-STUDY. That's 1-877-70-STUDY has been brought to you by Northern Arizona Council of Governments and the Arizona Workforce Connection. Four Corners Restaurants. See you around the corner. Yavapai Downs. Racing the way it was meant to be. And by Prescott Valley Raceway. Northern Arizona's premier raceway. All right. Thank you for staying with us on AM Arizona. Didi, you've got books and all kinds of stuff going on. Yes, What's going I on with you? The recipe? Uh, first of October, this is what the recipes are going to look like. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a flip cover mm -hmm. that's going to stand on the microwave so you'll be able to get all my tips and recipes. Maitre D' Magazine? Right for the Maitre D' Magazine. The new one is out. Pick it up from all your doctor offices. Very colorful, very Peanuts good stuff. From. Right. And the DVD is on the website called Cook It, Don't Nuke It. And yep. that'll teach you how to use your microwave, how to learn the wattage, yeah. how, to, how to convert it over all the tips and techniques Terrific. you need. Just and remember, peanuts came right. from. And peanuts came from the honey man. We love the honey, honey man. Just, Just remember when you're, uh, when you're rich right. and famous, don't forget where you came from. I, I shall not. Now, uh, we're going to give away <laughs> the Arizona Review. That's entertainment. We're going to give away a pair of tickets to the third caller right now. The number will be on your screen. Mm. Third caller is going to the Arizona Review this Saturday at the Elks Theater. Tanya, on Monday, what's going on? Well, on Monday, we have another show right here at 10 a.m. You found us here at 10. You're going to find us here again. Prescott Funny Paper, cover where that covers you, but you don't have to bear Ooh. off. And Coach Mike... Panta Leone will be here talking about soccer, yeah. Yavapai College soccer. So, yeah, because he's, he's been a great coach for Yavapai College yes. for so, so long. Anyway, this has been a wonderful show, a wonderful week. So, uh, Tanya, we and encourage... And again, now, our green beans came out. These can be snacks. Right, these are snacks. I cooked them a little bit longer yeah. with a little bit of water. You okay, can put so a little good. pepper on them. Ooh. You can do whatever you want. You whatever you want. Don't salt salt you know, and pepper. I don't think you need anything. Mm -hmm. I took them on the plane when I went That's to Oregon. Fine as a snack and I had the, the flight attendant. Those are a little hot, hot right Are now. they hot, hot? Yeah, they're hot, hot. <laughs> I had the flight attendant coming over to snack with me. How was Did that? you? Oh, really? yeah, I just said, man, i got to have some of those green beans. What a mm. great low calorie. Anyway, we love you. In fact, we'll come over, Dee Dee, to your place. Uh, Tanya, have a great weekend. Dee Dee, have a great weekend. Thank you. And we will see bye. you on Monday. Bye for now. Bye-bye.
everybody happy? Happy? In the words of Mike Tyson, we're ecstatic! In the words...
Arizona, glad to have you with us today. Uh, we always enjoy having mm -hmm. you here. We hope you always enjoy us. We try to mm -hmm. make sure our program is informative mm -hmm. and entertaining. And most times it is. Most times it is. Most Sometimes times it is. not. What? Oh. What for heaven's <laughs> sakes? What have we got here? All right out of the chute. Look what we have here. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Just walked in. Thank ladies, you, Diane. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tanya Mock's favorite food. <laughs> It's called a Tootsie Roll, a Tootsie Roll. That's, that's from oh, yours, yours truly. I told you I was giving you a surprise yeah. today. <laughs> Did you buy these? Yeah. Because you know how we had...